Hi, my name is Tara, and today I'm going to show you how to do simple spirometry using a good coaching technique. Again, it's all in the coaching that, that has a good test and, and has a good outcome of a, of a test. Um, today you need all the supplies that you need are of course a simple spirometer, just like this one, gloves, a spirette, and nose clips. And of course you need your subject. Subject A, could you please come? Now remember, your subject has no clue how to do this test. And so what you want to do is make sure that you give all the proper technique of how to do the test before you actually perform it. Okay. So first you're going to turn on your spirometer. And usually it has an on and off button and you just really need to just hold the on button down to make sure that it turns on properly, okay? Then you're going to put your gloves on. It'll be just a couple of minutes, okay? Okay, then you're going to get your spirette. Now, the way these are set up is it has like a perforated edge right here, and you're going to undo the perforated edge on the bottom of the spirette. Remember, this is their mouthpiece, so you don't want to touch this part. You want to make sure you open it from this part and pull it down, okay? Then you're going to stick the spirette inside the Easy One spirometer like so. There's a triangle, if you see right here, there's a triangle at the top and a triangle right here, and you're gonna mash them together and push it in nice and firm. Now go ahead and leave the packaging on the top part because again, that is their mouthpiece, and so you don't want to have to take that off until they're, they're ready. So you're going to go in, you're going to hit perform test, so you're going to hit enter at the top and then you're going to hit new. Okay, so then you're going to put um, the subject ID or the name, um, also age, height, weight, um, are they, do they have asthma, are they a previous smoker, um, or do they smoke, or do they not smoke, all those questions are going to be asked because that that has a big influence on the outcome of the test. There's a software, it's called NHANES 3, and that's the software that's inside the spirometer that has um, the right demographics that you need to perform this test uh, through the American Thoracic Society. Now also, on these tests, it does measure whether or not the variable is different. So also with the American Thoracic Society, um, they require that you do three acceptable maneuvers within 150 mLs of each other to have it accurate. You want three tries, you get a max of eight tries in one sitting, and so you want to make sure you have three good ones out of eight tries. Okay, so I'm going to put in an ID. And how old are you? I'm 44. 44. And how tall are you? 6'2". And how much do you weigh? 270. Okay, then it's going to ask me for ethnicity. And that's also an important factor. You need to know that because with every ethnicity, the outcomes are different. Do you smoke? No. Have you smoked previously? No. And do you have any history of asthma? No. Okay, so then it's going to lead me to another one, another um, opening here in the computer where it has uh, different options. And what you want to do is you want to do the S FVC, a forced vital capacity maneuver, and then it's going to say expiratory 
on the top. Now you can also do a whole loop and that would be on another, the one below it, the FVL in expiratory. But we're going to do the FVC. So we're not going to show the whole loop. Um, I just want to see the forced, um, uh, sorry, the FEV1 and FVC. So that's what we want to get. So forced expiratory volume in one second and forced vital capacity. Okay, now I'm going to describe the test to my subject. Okay, during each test, you always want to use these nose clips. Okay? So always make sure that you use these nose clips before, always put them on before we start the test. So I'll let you be in charge of that. Okay, and now I'm going to show you, before you put those on, I'm going to show you exactly how to do the test. Okay? You want to sit up nice and straight in your chair. Back all your back all the way to the back of the chair. Good. Feet on the floor. Good. Okay. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna you're gonna blow in. When I say take a big deep breath in, you're gonna take a big deep breath in, and you're gonna blast out as hard and fast as you can <sighs> for about six seconds. Okay. Then I'll say okay, big deep breath in, and that'll be the end of the test. Okay. Now the trick with this is. With this mouthpiece, you want to make sure that you put your mouth in all the way, okay? You put your tongue underneath because that can occlude the whole test, and you want to make sure that air is getting in the mouthpiece, and that the only air that is being sensed is in the mouthpiece and not out your nose or out your lips. That's why you have to do a good tight seal. Do you understand that so far? Okay. So when we're ready, I'm going to hand this to you. You're going to hold it just like a hamburger, okay? You're going to take a big deep breath in. Put your mouth around it, hold your breath, hold your breath, put your mouth around it, tongue underneath, good tight seal first, and blast out as hard and fast as you can, almost like you're blowing out a million candles on a cake, okay? In one breath. Then I'll say keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, and I'll let you know exactly when to take a big deep breath in, okay? There's gonna be a time where you feel like there's no airflow coming out, and I'll, I'll say keep going, keep going. Even though there's no airflow, the machine actually senses it. Okay? Even though you feel that way. Okay. Do you understand it so far? Yes. Okay. Okay. Now if you give me three good tries, that's all we need. We can get up to eight, but you want to do your best effort if a uh, best effort in the first three before um, we have to move on to the others, okay? Because if we get three good ones, then that's it. That's all we have to do. Alright. Go ahead and put your nose clips on. Okay, then you're, it's going to ask you to block the spirette before you start until prompted to blast <coughs> out. Do you have your nose clips on nice and tight? Cross your legs for me. Thank you. Okay, big deep breath in. Big deep breath in. Go all the way to the top. Put your mouth on it. Blast up hard and fast. Go, 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 Um, sometimes it may say take a, bit, a deeper breath. That means he didn't fill up all the way. So when you fill up, you want to fill it all the way up into your shoulders. Okay? Good deep breath, as big as you can. Fill all the way up. And then blast out hard and fast. Okay? It says good effort, so good job. You did a great job. Ready for the next one? Okay. If they need time in between tests, you give them that time. Because that also, ha it, one, it lets them catch their breath. And two, you get a better test next time. So if, if they're worn out and they're not ready to do it, then you're going to get a poor effort on the next try. So make sure that you give them enough time between tests to do a good one the next time. Okay, are you ready? All right. Okay, big deep breath in. Good tight seal, tongue underneath, bust out, hard and fast. Go, 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 keep going, keep going. It's okay, cough through it, cough through it. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, go, 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 go. Big deep breath in. Okay, so it's saying, it's giving us a session quality seat, good effort. 
The reason why it's giving us a C, because it'll rate it each time, it'll, usually the first effort will be about a D. Then the second effort, if it's good, will be about a C, or it could be a D depending on the effort. Um, but what, what happens is, is it's still waiting on three efforts. So you, of course you want to get three good accurate tests before it'll accept it and say great session, um, great job session complete. Okay, you ready for the last one? Did you want to take those nose clips off for a second? Kind of... Those nose clips are really hard, so if they want to take them off for a second just to kind of feel better, a little bit better and then put them on later, that's good too. Okay, are you ready? Big deep breath in, all the way to the top. Good tight seal, bless up, hard fast. Go, 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 keep going, keep going, keep going, go, 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 you're doing good, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Good, big deep breath in. Okay, so this one's saying blast out faster. So it didn't get a good effort that time, okay? So I'm gonna give you a couple minutes to kind of collect yourself, kind of catch your breath. And this is the part where, you know, you wanna make sure that they have enough time to give a good test. Are you okay? Yes. Okay, so I'll wait a minute, let you catch your breath a little bit, and then you can do it again. So hard and fast, like you're blowing out a million candles in that first breath. I know it's easier said than done, right? So we'll make this one count. Of course, you want to encourage your subject <coughs> just to make sure that they give you good tests. The more encouragement you give, the better the test is as well. These tests are not easy, so it's always good to encourage your patients. Okay, ready? All right. Okay, big deep breath in, all the way to the top. Blast up, hard and fast. Go, 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 keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, go, 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 keep going, keep going. Go ahead, come up. All right, it says session complete. Great job. So he did good. Even though he clomped a little bit through it, he was still letting air out, and that's okay as long as um, they're still getting flown. They're not coming off. Um, so a lot of times, if they have if they have a sensitive airway and they're coughing because they're sensitive from it, just have them cough through it a little bit. Cough through it unless it's, of course, you know, unless there's tongue in the way and stuff like that. Then you want to start again and start a new test. But it'll definitely let you know whether or not it was good or not. Okay, so then after that, you just turn it off. And of course, you can print your data, look at the data, um, and everything like that. So uh, whatever it is that you need to do next, um, whether you need to uh, download it and, and upload it to a computer software, you can also do that from this Easy One Spirometer. So you just push the bottom of this out, and then just make sure that you dispose of it along with the nose clips and the gloves. Thank you so much, you did a great job. Thank you. All the time he'll just wrap it in there. Just like so. And throw it away. Thank you very much for watching my tutorial of how to do easy spirometry.